The Unknown Bird by Edward Thomas. Three lovely notes he whistled, too soft to be heard if others sang, but others never sang in the great beechwood all that May and June. No one saw him. I alone could hear him, though many listened. Was it but four years ago, or five? He never came again. Oftenest when I heard him I was alone, nor could I ever make another hear. He called to me, seeming far off, as if a cock crowed past the edge of the world, as if the bird or I were in a dream. Yet that he traveled through the trees and sometimes neared me was plain, though somehow distant still he sounded. All the proof is, I told men what I had heard. I never knew a voice, man, beast, or bird, better than this. I told the naturalists, but neither had they heard anything like the notes that did so haunt me. I had them clear by heart and have them still. Four years or five have made no difference. Then, as now, that call was bodiless sweet. Sad more than joyful it was, if I must say that it was one or other. But if sad, twas sad only with joy, too, too far off for me to taste it. But I cannot tell if truly never anything but fair the days were when he sang, as now they seem. This surely I know, that I who listened then, happy sometimes, sometimes suffering a heavy body and a heavy heart, now straightway, if I think of it, become light as that bird wandering beyond my shore.